I'm sure you remember when we talked about the Ricardo Lopez tapes. You know, the guy with an unhealthy obsession with Bjerk? Well, there are some lunatics who have obsessions with things that should not be admired. For example, the Columbine Massacre. A simple Google search will provide you with many people who are obsessed with the Columbine Massacre, and there's even a crazy girl on YouTube who admired Eric Harris, one of the shooters of the Columbine shooting. So, how do you like my Eric Harris pictures in the background? Well, here's my Eric Harris necklaces I just wanted to show you. This is my Eric Harris mug, it was a gift. So, how do you like my Eric Harris pillowcase? Eric Harris rocks my world forever. However, one person in particular who had a massive obsession with the Columbine shooting was Alvaro Castillo. Alvaro Castillo, for whatever reason, had an abnormal preoccupation with the Columbine Massacre. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Columbine shooting, although I'm not sure why you wouldn't be, it was an incident in which two high school students named Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold shot up their school and then killed themselves. Alvaro Castillo looked up to these people so much that he even had his mother drive him to the Columbine High School one day. We're getting close to Columbine High School. I've always wanted to come here. As far as Castillo's story goes, he graduated from high school in 2005 and enlisted in the National Guard, but was discharged in 2006. Later that year, he made a video in which he's talking to his high school crush, Anna. After making the video, he asked his father to mail the video to her. Upon returning from mailing the video, Alvaro was only moments away from shooting himself with a shotgun. Alvaro's dad wrestled the gun away and called the police, which resulted in Alvaro being admitted to a psychiatric facility. After being discharged from the facility a week later, he was told not to have any contact with any guns and placed on an antidepressant. Less than a week later, he bought another shotgun and wrote in his journal that he planned to carry out a Columbine-like massacre at Orange High School. From June 1st to August 30th, his diary was filled with references to Operation Columbine and how he's going to sacrifice students and then kill himself. Alvaro Castillo created a bunch of really weird tapes that should really bring out just how crazy this guy really was. In one of his tapes, he's reenacting a scene from the movie The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. This itself doesn't sound so bad, but it looks like he's seriously hurting himself in the reenactments. If that's not enough, he also made a video featuring his guns, which he named Anna, which was his high school crush. In this video, he actually begins making out with the gun. This guy was obviously mentally ill, and at some points in his speeches, it sounds like he's trying to get attention or create some type of legacy for himself. There are some videos in which he tries to prove himself a good person, and other times which he'll go into detail with how he doesn't get enough respect. I treated everybody with respect as best as I could. All I wanted was respect in return. One thing in particular that he would talk about was his abusive father. According to Alvaro, his father would often hit him, his sister, and his mother. Whenever I see him, all I do is I remember what he did to me, to my sisters, and my mother. I can still hear the sounds his hand made whenever he would hit our bodies. He's probably telling the truth since at Alvaro's trial, his mother and sister testified that Rafael, which is Alvaro's father, was a controlling husband with unconventional beliefs. He would forbid his wife from bathing in warm water since he thought that cold water would cure all illnesses, and he would often drag his wife by her hair. Eventually, August 30th rolled around, which was when Alvaro decided to carry out his plan. He chose August 30th because that's the birthday of another high school shooter named Kip Kinkle. At the time, Alvaro was only 18 years old, and he ended up shooting his father seven times in the head and neck. Afterward, he made a video in which he actually apologized for killing his father. Once again, I'm sorry for what I did, but he's gone. He's dead. One chilling thing about this tape is how it ended. Before ending the tape, he says, That's it. I'm sorry. Goodbye. That's it. Sorry. Goodbye. Which is exactly what Eric Harris said in a video 30 minutes before the Columbine Massacre. Later, he got dressed into a black trench coat, which is what the Columbine shooters wore, and headed off to Orange High School. Upon arrival, he set off a cherry bomb at a patio lunch area and started shooting at the students. 
His gun ended up jamming, and he was restrained by a deputy sheriff assigned to the school. Thankfully, none of the students were killed, but two of them were injured. During Alvaro's trial, he claimed to be not guilty by reason of insanity, but after hours of watching his homemade tapes, his insanity defense was rejected. He was found guilty of first-degree murder and convicted of multiple assault and weapons offenses. He was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Just like a lot of other cases similar to this one, it's very sad that this obviously mentally ill man was not able to receive any help and had to resort to committing such a terrible crime. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side. Hey guys, just a quick announcement. I want to point out that I did create a Scare Theater Facebook page. You just go to facebook.com slash the Scare Theater, and then you can like the Facebook page and, you know, share it, all that kind of stuff, so you can help Scare Theater gain more publicity through other ways, too, and everything like that. So, yeah, there is a link to the Facebook page in the description below. So, thanks.